The talking points memo is uh, an important one tonight because it has to do with Donald Trump's main deficit, the main thing against him that may prevent him from being president. Okay, it is the January 6th controversy. So as you know, uh, the Democrats and some independents believe that Donald Trump incited January 6th. He wanted violence. He wanted a riot. He wanted all that. Um, the evidence shows that is false, and I'm going to produce the evidence tonight. However, it's going to be a campaign issue. No matter what, it's the big thing that they're going to hit Trump with right between the eyes. Okay, so let's walk through this. The week before January 6, 2021, everybody knew that there was going to be a large pro-Trump demonstration. President knew, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi knew, Mayor of D.C. knew, National Guard knew, cops knew, everybody knew. Okay? So what should have happened is that everybody was on high alert. And the National Guard would called in ahead of time to protect not only the Capitol, but other key places in Washington. That's what should have happened. It did not. Remember, Donald Trump has not been charged with inciting insurrection or doing anything like that. So if there was direct evidence against him, as the Democrats proport, allege, that certainly would have been under uh, Special Counsel Jack Smith's indictment, but it isn't. It's, that's a key piece. Okay, so the first line of defense in D.C. is Mayor Muriel Bowser. All right, here's what she said um, before January 6, 2021. Quote, to be clear, the District of Columbia is not requesting other federal law enforcement personnel and discourages any additional deployment without immediate notification to in consultation with the Metro Police Department if such plans are underway. And then uh, Bowser is quite clear that she did not want the National Guard on the streets of Washington. That's the first line of defense. The second line of defense is the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, who has direct supervision over the Capitol Police and the grounds of the Capitol. Donald Trump believes, and it's said, that he asked the Speaker if she wanted National Guard troops. Go. I offered 10,000 people to the mayor of Washington, D.C., Nancy Pelosi, mm -hmm. both of them, Nancy Pelosi and to the mayor of Washington, and they turned it down flat. Okay, that's what Trump says. Now, up to this time, Pelosi hasn't said anything. But the new Speaker of the House, Hakeem Jeffries, a Democrat, has said, that's not true. What Trump just said, what you just heard, is not true. Go. Well, the fact that Kevin McCarthy continues to blame Speaker Pelosi is just such a sick and cynical act of diversion and distraction. We know that the person primarily responsible for the insurrection that occurred on January 6th is the former twice impeached president of the United States, Donald Trump, who incited that riot. It seems that the Speaker of the House, Mr. Jeffries, is lying. And let me prove it now. Stay with me here. Nancy Pelosi has a daughter, Alexandra. She is a documentarian. She produced a uh, film called The Insurrectionist Next Door. It was released October 15th, 2023, last October. The Insurrectionist Next Door, Alexandra Pelosi. In that documentary was an inflammatory statement by her mother. It was edited out of the documentary. No one saw it. 
But through the Freedom of Information Act, Congress got the clip that was edited out. The House Oversight Committee got it. Here is the clip. Nancy Pelosi on January 6, 2021, talking to her chief of staff, Terry McCullough. Go. We have responsibility, Terry. We did not have any accountability for what was going on there, and we should have. This is ridiculous. You're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the, the uh, inaugural stuff that, that uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police? I mean, the uh, National Guard? Why weren't the National Guard there to begin with? They thought that they had sufficient resources. No, that is not a question of how they have been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepare for more. Smoking gun. Again, her daughter, Pelosi's daughter, Alexandra, edited, edited that out of the documentary so no one would see it or hear it. And it was only uncovered through a Freedom of Information Act request. That should be a huge story. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the World Reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.